Hello and welcome to this video review of VideoScribe Anywhere for the iPad. So I'm just loading it up, it's made by Sparkle who makes VideoScribe and this of course works on the iPad. It's not quite as good as the full version but it's substantially cheaper and it's mobile but it is not a perfect app by any means. So we land here and we've got a sort of example in the VideoScribe way that tells you how to do things. So you can go through, you see these nice zooms in and out. If you're hearing something, it's my Apple Pencil that's tapping. And I'm just gonna go back here. We're gonna start a new project. So here we go. So this cost me 99 pence, and I think you can get a free version as well. And you can render it to the camera roll, and you can also render it outside of the camera roll. Rendering it to the camera roll, you don't have very high quality, rendering it outside the camera roll you have to upload it to shoe.co and then download it from there it's all very complicated you've got to buy credits and stuff but we'll cover that later so what we can do is we can add text and i'm just going to bring the keyboard up here video scribe on ios and I don't want to press return, so I just want to click here, get rid of the keyboard. I want to say yes to that. So we've got our text. And you can see down here in the bottom left-hand corner, we've got our first thing added. So I'm going to click on this, click off and click on. I need to use my finger here rather than the pen. I don't want it to take four and a half seconds. I want it to take two seconds. So we're going to see what that does. So I'm going to click on play. And you can see it takes two seconds to draw in. When I was fiddling about with trying to get the thing off the keyboard, I ended up with putting a full stop in there. So I'm going to take that out. So if I press return, it goes back to the other line. It's not very good. There we go. So I'm pinching to zoom out. Now I'm just gonna do like a spider diagram. In fact, I do want it on a different line. So it is quite fiddly. And I want to center it, but I can't seem to center it. Oh well. So this is quite a basic app. So I'm gonna go over here and I want an arrow and I've already used an arrow and it's downloading there. And I can drag this around and I can rotate it. So let's have it over there. I can make it smaller. Again, I need to deselect and select it. I don't want it to take three seconds to draw in. I want it to take half a second to draw in. So I'm going to add some more text. And this is buggy. This is a buggy application. It's buggy. And I'm going to duplicate that. Or copy and paste it. You can't seem to duplicate it put this here and the other thing this is is it is old because this app I think came out five or six years ago maybe more and so you know iOS has changed a lot since then maybe that's why it's buggy because it hasn't been updated it's just been forgotten about so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a picture. Now, you get access to lots of assets. You get access to the assets library you get in VideoScribe and Scribely. And you can see my views of those um, in the cards. So look at this. Look at that. So um, I'm going to search for business. it's searching don't see how I lost access to the internet so we've got loads and loads of things I've got four pages there of business icons so let's go again So loads and loads of icons. Yeah, that's how I feel sometimes about using this app. 
buggy over here. So that brings you very nicely to something. All we have to do is press and hold and we can move things around. So this is going to go next to buggy. I'm going to deselect. I'm going to pinch to zoom out. So we've got our video scribe. Then we've got the arrow. Then we say it's buggy. Then we do a briefcase. No. Then we do this. Then we do an arrow. Then we say it's old. Then we draw an arrow to a briefcase. So that's it. And the output you get in full HD does look very good. So let's preview this now. Let's have a look. So it's video scribe on iOS and it zooms to that and that looks really professional. Now on actual video scribe, what you can do is you can control where it goes and you can pinch and zoom so that you get much more control. You don't get that on this. It just zooms in on what your asset is, whether that's text or drawing, just zooms in. You can't sort of scale it out. You just can't do that. So you don't get the control you get on the standard desktop version, but it's substantially cheaper. Now we can add in music and we've got some, we've got loads of music, loads and loads of music we can add. That's great, that's fantastic. I don't know what these icons mean. These three dots here. Let's add that, it's fantastic, there we go. And we can also add a narration. So, so far so good. So I'm gonna save this. done. I'm just going to leave it in the base folder. I'm going to save it. Now, if I want to export it, I can send it to my camera roll. I had to pay my 99 pence for that. And it doesn't render in top quality, but I can render it out for sort of previewing purposes. Or I can log into my shoe.co account and I can have it render to there. And I can buy credits as well. So now I can create my video and I can set it to public unlisted because it's going to go on a website. So I really wouldn't want it public. I would want it private and you get some free credits. You get three credits in all. If we buy, click on buy credits, we can buy a hundred for 32 pounds. So that's very good value. One credit is one video. So a hundred videos for 32 pounds. That is good value when you consider video scribe is 10 pounds a month and to buy it outright, something like £650. So I think that's quite good. You could pay £32 and you probably, that's all you'd use in a year. That's, you know, one every three days or two a week. That's more than you need. So it's substantially cheaper to use it on the iPad. However, of course, as you know, it's not as good as the desktop version and I think it's buggy. Now we'll talk about why it's buggy. So I'm going to say yes. And it's putting my it's sending my video to Shu and it gives me a link. Now, why do I think this is buggy and why do I keep saying it's buggy? Well, if you leave this app and you come back to it, like you do all the time with other apps, you lose the ability to be able to export to the camera roll. That ability to export to the camera roll seems to go and disappear. So I might be, I might leave this app to go and copy something out of my notepad. I might want to put a little bit of text and I might go to the notepad to copy that. And what happens is when I come back, I sort of, I've lost the app. I have to go and restore the purchase in order to be able to send it to the camera roll. And I've also found other things are buggy, but it comes down to if I leave the app. So if I do what I've done today, which is make something all in one go without stopping or without leaving the app or without closing my, not closing my iPad down, but it going into sleep because I've closed the lid on it, then I'm fine. If I do any of those things, something goes wrong. 
and I had to spend ages fiddling about getting it back to where it was. Using the shoe website or show.co isn't brilliant, it's not a brilliant experience, but it does allow you to render your video in full HD. Now videos render at 25 frames per second as well, so that's fine for me in the UK. I don't know if that's fine for other people around the world. That's it in a nutshell. It's good value. It's an old app. I don't know how long it's going to be around for. If you buy your 100 credits for £32, you might find they just stop supporting the app and it gets taken off. I don't know. I did email customer services for Sparkle about this and they were a bit useless. All they could suggest was uninstall the app and get a refund from Apple. That, that was their answer. They didn't really tell me anymore, but they did send me a nice email asking me to rate their service, which I declined to do. But yeah, the support from them was uninstall the app. Oh, you've uninstalled the app and it doesn't work? Yeah, just get a refund from Apple then. Don't use the app. That's why I'm not so sure it's going to be supported for a long time because they, they don't even seem bothered about it, the company who make it, and you buy your credits off. Anyway, with that being said, thank you. Goodbye.